this will go on so now again when you apply cos 180 plus theta is uh, minus 1 you get this answer i2 is equal to ic plus b naught and all the terms will be negative so all the odd terms will be having minus sign all the even terms will be having plus sign because cos of even multiples of pi is going to be 1 cos of odd multiples of pi is going to be minus 1 as I1 and I2 are going to flow in the opposite direction through the primary winding, the output current is proportional to both. So I is equal to K into I1 minus I2. So I1 expression I know, I2 expression I know. So if you subtract both, you will get this equation. So I is equal to K into I1 minus I2. So if you subtract, you can see I, C, B, not all these constants will get cancelled and you will get purely terms involving harmonics so you can see here this output current is going to have harmonics in the output and the third harmonic acts as the principal source of distortion so this b3 term is going to dominate so our only the first term is required by s because it is our frequency right the second term is 3 omega t which is going to be the third harmonic for my system Second, all the even harmonics you see, they will get cancelled because uh, cos 2 omega t, the sign is plus here. And for I1 also, the sign is plus here. So all the even harmonics will get cancelled and all the odd harmonics will be there. Among the odd harmonics, the first term is the useful information for us because it is the frequency cos omega t, right? And the third harmonic is going to be the dominant one, which is going to provide a source of distortion for the transistor so even though we say efficiency of class b push pull amplifier is very very good but the output will be highly distorted and this third harmonic term is going to be the reason for having the distortion for your transistor okay so the you have to understand one thing as you are more focused about efficiency of the amplifiers the non-linearity will also be very very high so this non-linearity will slowly introduce distortion in your signal the output signal will not be same as the input signal so which is going to be useless for you so in applications where your output should be exactly same as input i cannot use class b i'll be using only class a but in applications where my output waveform is not uh, uh, my output waveform is not so much important only the efficiency and power is very very important then you can go for class b amplifier okay so this class b amplifiers have a very good efficiency but the drawback is they are going to have a lot of distortion especially the third harmonic distortion is going to be a very very dominant term in the output signal so advantages a push-pull arrangement will give less distortion for a given output. See, already we have odd harmonics and this push-pull is eliminating all the even harmonic. That is a very good point for us. But still we are stuck up with the odd harmonics still existing in our signal. So that is going to be one point of concern for us. And second thing, all the DC components are completely eliminated. You can see when you subtract I1 minus I2, you can see the, all the DC terms are gone. You have IC, B naught, all the DC terms, right? They are getting eliminated, so which is going to make your transformer safe because your transformer cannot, your transformer is uh, very dangerous when it is exposed to DC voltage, right? So it will start burning. So that is eliminated by canceling out the uh, currents I1 and I2. All the DC terms get eliminated, thereby the transformer is safe. And whatever ripple voltages are there in the supply, it is also going to be balanced out. Since you are going to have an isolation between the input and the amplifier, whatever input is problems are there in the input side, it will be completely filtered out by the transformer before the signal is going to enter your amplifier. That is what they have mentioned here. The effects of ripple voltages which are in the supply will be completely balanced out. So these three advantages will uh, claim benefit for usage of class B push-pull amplifier as a large signal power amplifier with a very high efficiency of 78.5%. Any queries or doubts you have in uh, class B push-pull amplifier, the operation and the explanation? Please put down your queries here.
hope the class b amplifier is very 